Sometimes we'll be asked a question about one or the other of the intercepts of an equation. These questions will typically take the form of what is x when y is 0? Or what is x when you run out of y? Or something like that. For example, suppose that we're told that Brian's car gets 23 miles to the gallon. He begins a trip with 17 gallons of gas. How far has he gone when he runs out of gas? Let's say we want to round to the nearest full mile. Our variables are g, the amount of gas, and d, the distance driven. And distance is naturally the independent variable. Because typically when we drive a car, we decide where we're going and then figure out how much gas to use. So when he starts the trip, he has 17 gallons of gas, and he hasn't gone anywhere. Then he drives 23 miles, which reduces his amount of gas by one gallon. Now he's driven 23 miles, and he has 16 gallons of gas. The amount of gas that he has left is equal to negative 1 23rd, right, change in g over change in d, times d, plus he started with 17 gallons. But now in the question, it says when he runs out of gas. So when his amount of gas has dropped to zero, how far has he gone? Well, we know what to do. We take this zero, plug it in for g, and now we solve the equation to find out what d is. We'll subtract 17 on both sides, and then we'll multiply both sides by negative 23. And we'll get d is 17 times 23, which is 391. How far has Brian gone? 391 miles. The trickiest part of this problem was recognizing that this he runs out of gas was telling us a value of g. And that will very often happen when the point that we're looking for is one of the intercepts and not just any old point.